Hi everyone, welcome back. So today I'm gonna to do a message for whoever needs to hear this. Uh, just a little message, if you felt guided to do this video, like if your soul was just like, I need to click on that video, there is a message that wants to come through to you and this will be really resonant in your life. So if you enjoy, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. It really helps me out and click the subscribe button if you haven't already and comment down below where you're tuning in from. I love seeing where like people are tuning into in the world um, as well as let me know what you thought in the comments below. So I'm gonna ask you to send your energy into these cards now. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you to Spirit and everyone joining this reading. So I hope you're having a beautiful day. Let's get into it. Okay. Oh my God, they fly out. Okay. So we got adversity, we got metamorphosis, and we got rebirth. <sighs> okay, you know what I'm also hearing in my intuition? Like, obviously, if you feel you're seeking a sign, there's obviously a dilemma or something of you needing an answer. Um, and these cards are really symbolizing to me metamorphosis and rebirth. So there's obviously something that's dissolving away and there's something that needs to be reborn, right? Because the metamorphosis is all about the butterfly cocooning. You're kind of letting go of an old identity, but you're not really sure what the, the manifestation of the next thing is going to be. But metamorphosis is all about becoming the butterfly, right? It's about allowing that new self of yours to emerge. Like when I went on my first metamorphosis journey, I didn't know who the hell I was becoming. I was really scared because I was letting go of everything that was programmed into me. But this card is really symbolizing to trust the process because you're guaranteed to turn into a butterfly and who doesn't want to become a butterfly? Like butterflies are so pretty and beautiful. I also got the rebirth card and this is so interesting because it says no matter what happens, you can find new wings, rise from the past, accept the positive change that is coming. So I think maybe if you feel you're clinging on to an old version of you, maybe you went through a self-improvement journey, a self-awakening journey, and you're like, I don't want to go out to clubs anymore. And you're like, but that version of me, everyone loved that girl who was like doing the bottles and the shots and like having all this fun. But they're kind of like saying like, you have to trust this new chapter of your life because it could lead you to new experiences, new friendships, new people. But you have to take that first leap. You have to take that first step and, and let go because... If we're trying to like manifest new furniture, but our, our apartment is filled with all this ugly furniture, like you have no space for the new furniture. So you need to make that space. So you're being told to kind of like accept that change is coming. And the more you resist, the more it's gonna persist anyway. So just surrender to it. What is happening with my hair? Sorry. Um, you just need to, to, to surrender to that, okay? I also got adversity, which is see the gifts in the challenge. I feel like you guys are going through one big transformation, like an ego death, um, a death and rebirth, not being able to see this new version of you that's emerging, yet the old version of you is fully dying and you're like, I can't go back no matter how much I try and cling and pick up those pieces, they just crumble, um, is what I'm seeing from the cards here. So this is really just a message for you to trust and your guides, your angels, 1 billion percent probably, um, not probably, they definitely guided you to this reading to hear this message um, because I'm just a channel. Ha! <laughs> YouTube channel! Do you get it? I'm a YouTube channel, but I'm like a channel for, for you. Okay. Trust it. Oh, flying at today. You know what's so interesting? I started in the right and moved to the left. So there's like the future and this is kind of the past. So yeah, I got healing and loss. So obviously there's healing taking place and you feel like you're losing a part of yourself. You feel like you're losing... Um, something within yourself that essentially needs to go but there's a feeling of loss and sadness there and picking up on some grief in the heart like this sadness feeling like you're leaving something behind or there's not going to be something that will rep will replace that is what I'm feeling but then here we have the independence card and she has the sword in this image right it's kind of like yeah because the queen of swords it's like she's kind of looking behind going am I going to go further or am I going to look back at my past and dwell but she has the sword she has the power to continue to keep going so you're really being encouraged here to not see this as a loss because the loss came in reverse and I really symbolize that as like you have to not see this as a loss but understand and this is something I always say to my friends <laughs> Like, you know, when you were, um, you're like, uh, let's, for example, you were dating someone and like you, you knew it wasn't right for you in that like relationship. And you kept saying like, oh no, but it, like in the moment you knew it wasn't right. So you end it. And then you're like reminiscing on the, all the good memories or all the glorified memories. And you're going, but actually it was so fun and you're missing it. And I always go, girl, remember in that moment, go back to that moment when you were actually in it and you didn't enjoy it. You didn't want this, but we glorify the past when we're not actually in it. So it's kind of like, you have to really be serious and like honest with yourself that the past wasn't making you as happy as you, as you let on. So going back to that like nightclub analogy, deep down, you didn't want to be that girl, right? You didn't want to be that nightclub party girl or boy, but 
something was telling you your soul was kind of saying no we're, we're moving on to the next thing and then it leads into the knight of cups like that spirituality that spiritual energy um you're moving in more on your spiritual path and this is so exciting because you're being congratulated and you're being like told like continue to grow like your wings are being born like you're literally blossoming into that new version of yourself like that um ooh, that butterfly and just a little quick pause, I just want to share, if you are going through this process or this reading is resonating with you, I have Rose membership down below. It's my online spiritual community of support system of people all around the world who are going through their own spiritual awakenings, their spiritual journeys, their self-evolution processes, and really starting to find alignment in their life. And we do monthly Zooms. There's a bunch of stuff in there. There's like five steps to miracles, success, morning routines, all this holistic work, manifestation work, guided meditations, just a bunch of stuff. So I will link that down below. It's an amazing membership. Um, anyway, so the last card I got was the love card. So this is essentially the um, answer for what's going to come from all of this. It's love. When you follow this path, you're going to hold deeper love for yourself. Yeah, deeper love. Um, I just want some clarification on the whole process. Oh my god, that literally flew out. Yeah. Queen of Pentacles, King of Cups. Commitment to your growth, first and foremost. Really committing to that version of you. And then receiving the abundance from that in all areas. Abundance doesn't just mean money. It can also mean uh, abundance in your emotional stability, your friendships, uh, relationships in your life. Like, amplifying those experiences in your life. So that's going to come in abundance. And also we have the rabbit totem in this image here. And the rabbit is really about abundance. It's about fertility. Um, and fertility doesn't mean being pregnant. It also means like being fertile for something to manifest. So it could be a business. Um, like fertility just means planting the seeds to grow. The rabbit is also an ancient spiritual teacher. Um, essentially, it also means becoming a spiritual leader. Um, if some of you feel aligned to that path. Just some more clarification yes i love this yeah some of you guys your sensitivity might be arising wow this is so accurate for some of you guys like please comment down below what you've been going through because i feel this is like for such a direct like this is such a strict not strict specific message for some people like i'm like this is i'm so curious to know who these people are because i've been there as well that's why i created soul school which is my um, spiritual course because um i needed I wanted a platform for people to understand that they weren't going crazy if they're going through an ego death or going through like um, an older version of you literally dying. You don't know what that new version of you is. I have a bunch of self-study courses down below to help you with that. Um, so the card I got firstly was do more research before proceeding. So this is about education, seminars, going back to school, studying, um, really learning your craft and mastering your craft. Therefore, I think that's why I just said like all the self-study courses, soul school, uh, self-love mastery. Those programs are amazing for you if you're wanting to evolve your evolution. Because see, here this is one of my favorite images um you see the old woman and the child looking up and pondering the old woman is the mystic within all of us that old um soul that wisdom that guru um knowledge in you that you will hold and then the inner child being like am i doing it right and we have both of those kind of elements in us so it's about integrating and, and listening to that i also got the ego card which is the illusion of being trapped placing too much importance on material items getting caught up in fear and worry i feel like some of you the universe is literally um I didn't realize it was reflecting. I feel like for some of you, the universe is literally pushing things out of your life. Um, for me, when I went to my spiritual journey many years ago, the um, uh, the the deity I called upon a lot was Kali Ma. Actually, she came to me, Kali. I didn't actually ask her to come. She came to me. <laughs> and uh, it was basically about... Kali Ma is basically like the, the, the goddess that will literally tear everything out of your life that is no longer serving. And that's kind of what happened in my life. Everything kind of fell apart. Um, like literally everything and I just had to surrender to it like my friendships my relationships my business my um personal life my my identity everything crumbled and I was so afraid but I I realized I had to get out of my ego and realize I'm not being trapped I'm going through a major metamorphosis pro process right and then what came from that was the rebirth like literally I was reborn why I created self-love mastery because I've got I went from that older version to this newer one where I realized there was all a divine higher plan and it's about you trusting that unraveling so some of you guys need to really get out of your head because you feel like you're being trapped or even I'm hearing being punished by the universe like are you really that special <laughs> like are you really that special that you think the universe is like honing in on you like no you're like you have to like let go of this little pity party okay 
I also got a new, um, oh, this is beautiful because this is like the main image from the cards, a new relationship or emotional experience, um, social events, invitations, a compassionate friend you can share your concerns with. Okay, again, Rose membership. I feel like you need to uh, join because that's the community where you're going to have the support systems to help you. Um, literally, like people are posting it every day with their journeys and experiences. It's like one big Facebook, but for spiritual people, it's amazing. But I feel like you're going to attract people or not even that there might be one single person you know what else i'm hearing it's not even a physical person maybe it's a new relationship with the spirit guide you have or a guardian angel i actually have a free yeah a free meditation down below four free meditations but one of them is to connect to your guardian angel so it could be you strengthening your relationship with your angels and actually meeting them and seeing how they've been oh my god i just got like the biggest like my window is closed i just got the biggest flow of energy like a ball of wind just hit me there of like this energy like i literally felt like the the window just blast open oh my gosh okay that was literally your angels coming forth saying yeah you need to contact you need to talk to them okay the, the meditation's down below it's completely free you need to do that meditation right after this and meet them because that was i've never had an experience like that like when i do psychic readings i can feel people's guides i can connect to them i can even see them I've never actually like literally felt their energetic presence like wash through me. Wow, that was super powerful. Whew, I have like shivers and goosebumps. I actually have so much shivers right now. Ooh! Wow. Wow. My God, I feel like shivery. Yeah. Healing is happening. You're not broken. Trust the process. It's safe to soften. See here in this card, do you see all the people on the sides? This is the truth about all of us. We have all these spirit guides, these wisdoms all around us at all times. And this is about realizing you're not just Sally down the road. You're not just this one person. There's a higher self. There's your angels. You're multidimensional. And you're just awakening to more aspects of yourself. And you have to be open to it and not be pushing it and resisting it away. I also got the Holy Grail. Stop the endless searching inner quest. Yeah. Stop trying to rationalize what you're going through, right? We have the eagle in this card, which is the higher um, awareness, seeing this from a higher perspective. Again, going back to what I said, is like realizing that life didn't actually make you happy. You wanted this. A part of you subconsciously wanted to let go of this, okay? And then I also have um, the deer, which is literally the um, sensitivity. It's the uh, intuitiveness. It's that kind of like emotional self, that healer. Like my um, spirit animal is a deer because I'm a highly sensitive person. And a deer is like very instinctual, very intelligent, but almost like an elegance to them. Like that kind of priestess energy. Like you can feel when people have like an elegant energy because they just like, like ballerinas. I feel like I was a ballerina in many past lives because they're like, they're very just like elegant. And that's what the deer is telling you, like to trust the process and get out of your own way and then see it from a higher perspective to like calm yourself down. I'm actually realizing that's not an eagle, I don't think, but it's a bird. All birds have higher perspective. And the last one of the card to symbolize this is Sophia, divine plan, wisdom, intelligence within. It's your destiny to go through this process. This is the higher plan. This is the universe stepping into your life and honor yourself for the bravery of like letting it flow through because that is what is happening right now. You're letting this higher wisdom, this higher plan start to take over your life. Like this is a really exciting time and it's difficult. But going back to the first three cards of the adversity, metamorphosis and rebirth, like this is a divine thing happening. This is a divine orchestration. Like you have to surrender to this because we're taught to not want to transform. But this is where the, the abundance comes from because again, we got the which is at the queen of pentacles, which is like the abundance will come in and in, in tenfold when you surrender to this process. Cause they could be initiating you into your soul purpose. It could be initiating you into becoming a mother, a father, whatever it is that you're, you've been desiring for, for your life. Um, super powerful. So if you enjoyed, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, do that angel meditation. Cause like I literally have shivers. Um, and then also comment down below. I'd love hearing from you guys. Like it really makes my day. Um, and I will see you in my next video. Make sure to comment if you want me to do more of these types of videos. I love hearing your feedback as well. It greatly helps me out and I'm um, sending you so much love.